Knife Guy here, and today what we're going to be doing is actually showing you how to use waterless cookware, stainless steel pans here to uh, cook omelets. And I'm excited to share this with you because it's a technique I've been using for years and I've taught multiple people. And it really helps you uh, make it super simple, uh, easy, and help you save some time. Uh, and it's also something that I learned from a good friend of mine who worked in an omelet shop for years, and it was a technique that they shared with him. And I'll show you how to do it just basically on the stovetop if that's what you want to do, but then also a little advanced technique that you can use to fluff up those omelets. So if you like your omelets to be super fluffy and, and uh, kind of fat and thick and, you know, um, fluffy, I guess, then uh, this is a great way to do that. So um, first, let's talk about what you need to actually make this work. So uh, I'll share with you just my supplies here. Basically, I've got my omelet pan, which is uh, an eight and a half inch. I'm using a Cutco uh, waterless stainless steel omelet pan. And then I also have over here, um, I use a Pampered Chef spatula that I love, and uh, these rubber spatulas are awesome. They're high heat spatulas, so they don't melt or bend or you know, anything like that. Coconut oil, I'll also show you how to do it with butter if you prefer to use butter. Amy and I like to use coconut oil. Um, I've got a three egg omelet here, a two egg omelet here, and then just all of my supplies. Now, what I've learned with omelets is that it's something that really helps is when you actually prep your fillings ahead of time. So I, um, uh, Amy and I like have different tastes. So I've got some sauteed onions and jalapenos here. I like mine spicy. And then we've got some sauteed garlic and tomatoes here and some wilted spinach. Uh, we also have some uh, cheese there as well. And then uh, avocado and salsa to put on top. And I have my favorite hot sauce and uh, that's my favorite salsa right there. So anyways, let's go ahead and get to cooking. Okay, so first you wanna preheat your pans. You'll see here that we have a flame that's about medium heat, and uh, my stove runs a little bit hot, so I actually have it you know, turned down to almost low, but uh, you can see how the flame is about halfway between the burner and the pan. So, um, and that's, uh, you wanna preheat your pans for about three or four minutes, and then we're gonna do just a little test with the oil. Um, remember that when you use butter, uh, if it smokes right away, then that means that your pan is a little bit too hot. Okay, so our pans are preheated, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw the, the butter in for the butter, the omelet where we're going to use butter. Notice how this is perfect because, um, perfect heat, because the butter sizzles, but it doesn't turn brown and it's not smoking, so it's not too hot. You want just enough butter to spread across the bottom of the pan and a little bit up on the walls as well because you're going to have a little bit more in here. Um, and then I'm also going to do a little bit with co or do one of these with coconut oil. So with coconut oil you don't have to use as much because coconut oil is a little bit more dense. So, but uh, again, I like to get it nice and melted, get it spread across the pan. You can see how it's kind of up along the walls. That's what helps the eggs not stick to the sides and the bottom of the pan. Now what we're going to do is grab the rubber spatula and we're going to go right in here, our two egg omelet. Now, the thing with eggs, they don't take very long to cook. That's why we prep all of our uh, fillings ahead of time. And uh, that way we can quickly cook these and be done. Now, one technique that I use that's really uh, effective is making sure you use your spatula to get in underneath here. So notice how it's not sticking at all. So use your spatula to pull it in and uh, you just kind of want to mix up the eggs here um, until they look, you know, about halfway done. So my friend always said to me like, hey, it'll look a little bit like brains. It's kind of gross but um, to think of it that way, but it's actually true. So notice how the spatula gets underneath nice and easy. So same thing here. All right, you can just kind of move the eggs around a little bit. You just have to stay on top of them. That's all it is. Just make sure that you don't let it sit too long without you watching um, because they can cook too long and they'll get stuck to the pan. You don't want that to happen. Give it a minute here. This one's perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into the broiler. So I'm going to put some toppings in here. This is Amy's omelet. So she likes the spinach and uh, she also likes the uh, tomatoes and the garlic. You can put whatever toppings you want. Um, I always keep the toppings close to me since I'm right-handed. When I flip this out, uh, or since I'm, I'm right-handed, when I flip this out, I'm gonna use the spatula to turn it over and then slide it onto a plate. So I keep the toppings on this side right here. So I've got some cheese we're gonna throw in here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right in underneath the, uh, the broiler. And that's what's gonna fluff up the omelets. 
So just like this, we're going to stick this right under the broiler for only t a couple of minutes. You want to keep an eye on it and make sure that it doesn't get too done. Um, but when you put it under the broiler, that's what's going to make it nice and fluffy. So we're going to do the same thing here. Um, you can turn off your heat as soon as you put your fillings in because you're not going to use the, uh, the stove top anymore. Now I always keep my uh, oven light on so that I can see inside of it here. And uh, if you look inside there, you can just kind of keep an eye on it and you'll see the omelet start to fluff up. Okay, so you can see now the omelet on the right hand side here, our two egg omelet is just about done. Um, so we're gonna come in here just like this and use that spatula. What's great about this, you'll see here how because we used that butter and because the, the pan was preheated, it was just the right temperature where it doesn't really stick to the pan at all. So, and then you can just go right out onto the, onto the plate and then you're good to go. Now that's gonna be really easy to clean off because um, it's really not that, that stuck on there. And so um, hot soapy water and a sponge with a, with a scratchy pad on the back should be just fine. Okay, so here's our finished omelet, and uh, what we're gonna do here is, I like to top it with salsa, and then a little bit of avocado, and uh, just anything else that you wanna throw on top, or you know, that makes your omelet the way that you like it, that's what I recommend you do. Here we go, finished product. Okay, so here we are with our finished omelet, um, and just a quick summary of the steps. Uh, what you wanna do is, number one, prep all of your fillings first, and have you know your oil and everything ready to go. Then, number two, preheat your pan and double check your heat, make sure it's the right temperature. It's not, it's not too hot if it doesn't smoke, right? But if it melts right away or it sizzles like the butter, um, then you're at the right temperature. And then you just put your eggs in, use your rubber spatula to kind of mix it around until the eggs look just, until they look about halfway done. Throw your fillings in the, in the one side and then throw it under the broiler. And the broiler is what's gonna fluff it up, make it a nice fluffy, uh, easy, you know, really delicious omelet. And so, um, and then you take it out and you fold it over and push it right on the plate and you're good to go. And then top it with your toppings, uh, whatever else you want to add. Okay, remember uh, you can subscribe to our channel here. I, I recommend that you do that. And also visit yourknifeguy.com for more videos, more recipes, uh, and other great tips on how to save time and have more fun in your kitchen. So remember to hit the subscribe button so that uh, we can keep you posted on other new videos when we upload them.